Salam everyone, hello and welcome. This is Aya and today's video we're going to dry some flowers. Uh, this time I'm gonna dry some daisy. I think yeah, they are daisy, but they are you know colored and some flower, uh, some roses. The thing that let me bought some roses, I just bought it like this, I know looks old. So I bought them from a shop called uh Shoprite here in Connecticut. Uh, so as you see it's old so usually they will throw it so I just grabbed these two because they are the I mean they were the oldest among all the flowers or the roses and I asked uh, you know the cashier if she can give me give me uh, give it to me you know with you know discounted price this was $13 uh, and she asked the manager and the manager came and she said what are you gonna do with this and I said okay I'm going to dry them so she kindly gave it both of them to me with $13. I mean, for me, I was so happy because they are gorgeous. I mean, reminds me of a wedding, uh, you know, wedding bouquet. And even here's the same. So always ask if you see any, you know, all the fl flowers, and especially if you're going to dry them out, just ask if they can give you with a, with a discount, you know. So I got two with one price, which is amazing. Someone asked me about the food. I don't know, it's called flower food. Because they already, you know, open. Look at the beautiful colors. Yeah. So we'll try all of these. But first I want a daisy because I already did, you know, uh, a tutorial about drying uh, the flowers. So I want to make for the daisy this time. Of course, there is no real daisy with orange and blue. Okay, these all colors and you will know from this you're gonna see the tip is white this means uh, that they have been you know uh, soaking you know in a colored uh, water now let's cut all these beautiful flowers after I cut everything I will check my uh, silica and I can find it is still orange so if you see these orange uh, you know particles turn to be green this means that you need to reactivate it and put it in the oven uh, but for me no most of them are still orange so now it's time to to dry them uh, I think this time I will go this way because I want it I want them flat. I don't want to make, you know, this large tray, so I want them to be flat. everyone again so here is the flowers um, now after five weeks yes I didn't have a chance really to uh, to take them out they're supposed to say from five till seven days this is as written in their booklet but I let them like for four weeks uh, or five weeks even uh, okay as you see they are extremely beautiful extremely delicate and they didn't lose the colors which I really like I mean it's not that bright pink or beige but it's it's just beautiful
let's have a quick look on a dry, uh, dry air dry flowers as you see the difference here the air dry one you see the flowers start to turn uh, to brown and for the silica one you, you're gonna see the pink petals from uh, inside um, also there is another thing that I noticed that the flowers that have been drying using silica it's they are delicate because I mean <laughs> the silica absorb all the moisture so if you really squeeze them or you, you know hold them really uh, hard they will break but the flowers the air dry one no they also delicate of course but not as not much as you know the one uh, dried with uh, silica as you see here it's also really tough you know before th you feel that they are crumble on themselves so they are really holding to cat together the battles but the one with silica i know so it really have to be um gentle when you use them so now here my silicones are ready and i'm now preparing my resin i'm going to do half a flower resin tray i don't know to <laughs> this is a long <laughs> long name for a project but i don't know what what i call it but and we're gonna see now so here i'm gonna add like a thin layer of resin because i want to stick my flowers using my heat tool you know to remove the bubbles so it's up to you how you want to arrange your flowers i added three then i'm going to add some leaves and i'm going to remove some leaves so i'm gonna see you after i finish the first layer So after I remove the bubbles again using the heat tool, I'm going to cover it and wait for 24 hours, you know, to add my uh, my next layer. So here's after 24 hours and I'm going to open and it happens to be like this. So my, you know, my, my assuming is that the resin have been falling from the flowers and it give me like these two layers of resin now starting from today till you know four days uh, you know coming i'm going to pour the resin on the flowers not you know the tray because i want to make sure that the flowers from inside are really you know full of resin so they will not you know break easily because i'm gonna as i said i would i would make it half um half resin tray because half the flowers will be covered and half will be you know exposed so i assume everyone wants to touch the flowers so if that's the case so i want to make sure that the resin you know that the resin is really uh covered the flower from uh inside so this is only the layer and i'm gonna keep it like this it's time for the embellishments and I'm going to add these tiny flowers or fillers uh, you know to embellish more the tray
now the third day so it looks really beautiful very textured but the thing is i want it again to add more uh, what do you call it more resin inside the flowers and to cover these tiny flowers uh you know the white one the smallest one uh because if someone can touch it it easy will uh, it will be break even if there is resin because uh, you know they are really really thin so here day four and i was really curious to see the thickness of the resin or for the tray so when i see it like this i said that that's okay i'm not going to add more uh resin uh because as i said this is i filmed this like last january and now i'm trying to edit this so i'm not i don't remember if i'm going to add more layer or not um yes i think i'm going to add so my idea was to put a picture or something in the middle i was you know hesitant what to do because i really like it so much and this is i don't know it's cool i mean this is amazing for a wedding um you know wedding party uh, but not now of course hopefully after we finish the quarantine one so i have this from amazon this is a, like a handle so like the one you use it for a drawer but it was big there is no space you know to add it, to make it like a really real tray but it didn't work then i said it's okay i'm gonna leave it just like this um i didn't think about it to be honest i just you know remember it so this is another idea you can use any handle that you have so you can um you don't know, make it like DIY a tray. <laughs> so this is day five. And yes, I added another layer of resin. And this time I mix it with chunky glitter. Um, I'm not sure if this was a mistake or not. But anyway, I really love the final look. However, because I removed, you know, the tray from the, from the mold, then I put it back and I add the resin. So I end up with two layers of resin. I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera or not. But yes, and I think this is the mistake. Anyway, I really love the result. This is really, really cool, you know, textured resin or half piece resin. Uh, I'm going to repeat it again, do it again. Uh, I don't know. I learned so many things, you know, th through the process of making it. And I shared it with you guys. Uh, you know, we learn from our mistakes. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think about it. And yes, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you like it and get inspired. And I will see you next time. Bye.